All right, everybody, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can easily add a text editor to your web development project. If you are looking for a text editor that looks something similar to what you see on your screen where you're gonna have a different HT, I mean, your H1 tag, two, three, four, and five, six, and then also have a different font and you can make it bold and also change the color of the background of this particular text. So for example, right now you will see there's a background, it's just white. You wanna change it to some other color you could change it and if you want to change the uh, particular color of the text itself you could change it to I don't know just change it to yellow looks really cool and you want to add it, a link to it you can add a link and all that stuff so if that's something you want to learn how to do that make sure you watch this whole video because I'm going to share with that how you can do that so without any further ado let's get right to this particular video so in order for you to do that what I want to do is first show you the demo so let's say where you just want to add an empty editor to your uh, particular project, which means it's just going to show up and has nothing in it. It's going to look something similar to this. However, if you want to add an editor that has text already built into it, uh, I'm going to click this button in which it's going to add a text editor with the text that is on there. So you might be wondering like, hey, what's the difference? The difference is when you are adding an empty text editor, which means you are creating your initial process. So let's say in your part of your application, you have this particular screen in which you want user to add some text to it. And then you click this button over here to save it and then it goes to your database and saves it. That will be your initial part of it. And the second part of which, which will be your editor with text, that means when you load up the page, this page, and then it already has a field with the data that you wanna include it in here. That is what is what I call it a text editor with the text. So let's learn how to do that and what you actually need. So I'm using this uh, Visual Studio text editor, and this is something that I've been playing around with it so far. I actually love it. It makes editing a lot more fun, easier, and faster. So if you are in the market for looking for another editor, do check it out. I will leave a link in the description for you in which you will be able to learn a little bit more about it but if you are like hey man i don't know you want me to create more video leave a comment in the description so that way i know exactly what you are looking for so let's say we have this text editor and by the way i'm using this text editor is called tiny mce you can literally just google this thing and this is the actual the text editor that I'm using. And this makes your life a whole a lot easier. There's a demo one. They they you could they have a pretty good documentation. So if once again if you go to tiny.cloud, and that's literally the name of it. I don't know why they have this name, but it's called tiny.cloud cloud you can Google it or you could just Google this particular phrase which is called tiny. M C E and there'll be the first link in here. So and then you can go more into depth into like hey how you know how you want to customize this thing. I'm just gonna show you a basic one, but once you understand the basic of it, then you can build upon it how to add more features into it. So if you want to learn how to do this particular text editor, and what I also will do for you is that I will leave all that code for you to just copy and paste it into your project which will make your life a little easier and then you could just go right into it so in here what are we going to do is we're going to include the javascript as well as actually there's two javascripts and which is going to be the one with the tiny editor and another one is the mini one so this is for the jQuery one, and this is just a regular one. And you know I love jQuery. If you are interested in learning how to use Master and actually use the hell out of the jQuery, there's gonna be a link in the description in which you could take the course and will make you a master, literally. So you add these two libraries into your page. Once again, I will leave a link in the description. So you can literally copy and paste it. And then you will find this particular, let me just make this bigger so you can see it. And don't worry about it. You're just gonna 
copy paste it from the link below and this is going to be the function that i have written for you in which it will help you add some things in here so in here i have the width to be a 400 and then all that stuff so let's go through it what does it actually do so if i open this up so this is my text editor so let's put this over here i'm gonna eliminate this then i want to bring it here this over here side by side so in here this font size you can literally type any size you want and this is going to be the drop down box over here and it's going to change to that and then the menu bar if you don't want it to show up it will not show up menu bar so let's say if i turn this to let's say true i will save it and come in here now this is the menu bar that will come up which will give you more flexibility for your particular uh, editing for your web development and let's say this branding thing this will come in handy because when you go into this uh, the ti uh, tiny dot cloud website they will not show you this but I want to show you this because you can actually use this and not do it so if I make this true and save it and by the way in case you're wondering if I'm saving it here how come this is updating automatically uh, this is what I'm using as a live server and I will leave a link in the description for you on how you can use a live server in the Visual Studio. So having said that, let's move forward. So if I update it and now you will notice it has this little tiny power by tiny, which is like a branding thing they want. Uh, actually, people know this is powered by that. But if they you don't want it to show up, what you can do is just take this and turn it into a false literally. And then that will go away. And if I add it in here, that will go away eventually as well. And then some of the plugins that I'm using, which is the add list and then the context, what that means is this particular context menu. If I right click here, I can have cut, copy, paste, and I can link it. So let's say if I have, I don't know, let's say code with mark. And if I want to add a link to it, select this right click link it this will come up so I could type in HTTPS code with mark.com forward slash gift in which you can go to this particular URL and you will have this amazing gift that's going to help you speed up your web development projects so you just click on this save it and it will add as a hyperlink and if I go away you will see it will act as a hyperlink if i want to edit it i could just click on the link or i can open it it will go here and then here it is so voila it is that simple and then let's move forward so what happens when you add this particular editor let's go to the code and i'm not going to go too much into it but if you understand the basic of javascript you will follow right through it so let's go so this is the function which i call as the app editor and in here it takes one parameter which is the element element being which element of the container that is you want this particular editor to show up and what i'll do is right over here i'll just make the menu false because i don't want the menu to show up so here we go all right that looks a little better but if you want to show up obviously you can just make it into true and then it will show up Let's move forward so let's go through our html so we have this container so if i refresh this this is the container that shows up and here we have two buttons which are add empty container add a container with the text and then obviously up top is a mark code with mark and if you haven't subscribed to the channel consider subscribing if you're loving this video and all the other videos that i put up consider subscribing to the channel because i'm gonna literally make you a professional web development a lot faster and i'm gonna share with you things that will help you actually help you in the real world not in theories all right so there it is so the f2 button which are right over here and then there i have this container which is this i just call this a class called post underscore message so if I go up here, if I click this button, which has the class of add, but uh, but btn underscore add and the btn underscore editor. So if I click on this particular button, which is the green one, it's gonna first go to see, hey, go to this container, which is 
right over here and make all the old data disappear basically it's going to make it all so for example if i click this it's going to have this particular text if i don't have this in here it's just going to leave this text in here so when i when i click on this it's going to make that text disappear and then reinitiate this particular editor and how do you really initiate the uh, the container of the text editor all you really do is use the jquery function and then call this particular container which is right over here so what that means is it's gonna say hey go add the text editor in here that's all that this is saying and then it's just gonna add it and the next phase which means add with text so let's say you have this information coming back from the server whether it be ajax request or on page load whatever the case might be you could just say hey go to this container add html code and whatever the code that you are coming back from your server you adding in here you add it in here and that's that and then after that you initiate the text editor with the container particular id class whatever you want to call it and that's it and that's literally uh where they go where they go there we go so this literally how you do it it is that simple hopefully that was helpful if you truly enjoyed this video please 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 consider subscribing because that really helped my videos come to you and that way i can help you become a web developer a lot faster so as always happy coding guys